Sometimes, when I make my Yankee decks, it turns out that they're not too janky, they're actually pretty good. So, first of all, let's go through the combo that inspired this entire deck, why I wanted to play this. It's because we got this new card named Resug the Bone Cobbler. Target creature card in your graveyard perpetually becomes an artifact, you may cast that card this turn. So what I thought is, is there any way we can make this useful? For instance, if we have a really useful tap ability on a creature that goes to the graveyard, that you can get into the graveyard easily, then we could use that ability immediately, because it's no longer a creature, it's kind of like it has haste, so we can immediately use the tap ability. So the first card that came to mind was of course BC of Tumbling Sands, because we played this so much. Untap target permanent. And then it also has cycling! So this is pretty good, so this means that if we play Resug turn 2, then we cycle this year of Tumbling Sands. No, no, no. First we take out the manas. We play a Lotus Field. With the floated manas, we cycle the Vizier of Tumbling Sands to untap the Lotus Field. Then we can immediately use Resug's ability to play the Vizier of Tumbling Sands. And the turn after, we have seven manas on turn. What is this? It's turn four. It's not super fast, but it's decently fast. It's fast enough. Uh, but then I thought, are there more things which go along with this? Well, there's another new card which we haven't played, which is the Timeless Lotus. When it enters the battlefield, it enters the battlefield tapped, but it produces one mana of every color. This is insane with the fairy who slows the sunset. Because this guy has, choose one artifact, one creature, and one land, untap the shows a permanent you control. Which means that we can untap the Vizier, we can untap the Lotus, and we can untap the Lotus field. So we can get an insane amount of mana, and the easiest way of winning that is just go fail your wishes, reveal a card outside the game, and reveal omniscience, and just play it. Because we gotta get so much mana, just easily play omniscience like that. Uh, another cool thing is we can also play Renowned Weaponsmith, which has add two colorless mana, but you can only cast uh, artifact spells. You can cast the Timeless Lotus on our turn three, and then hopefully go off. We of course have Divine of Fates to find every combo piece, we have Faithful Mending to find every combo piece, and we have Seagate Restoration in case we don't have another Fae of Wishes, so that we can uh, combo off immediately. Uh, super duper good, let's jump into the game. Mm? Okay, I mean potentially. This could be good, maybe. If we find the Lotus. Um, after we've played this. Potentially, it could be huge. Could be insane, let's see. Angel Cross though. He's got playing a planes, okay. Got the Manders, well, it's not the worst. Put down this. Have it down there on the ground. Do we go for the Double Troubles? Double Troubles Runesmith. Yes. Uh, no, no we don't. We play this. And we ship the Runesmith. Because I think it's the worst card probably that we have in the, in the hand. Ooh, okay, Fey Wishes, big damage though. Coming in from uh, from Team Chris, I gotta say, smacking in with the weapons, but okay. Altar of the Pantheon. I see. Uh, well, in this case, I think we're fine just doing this. I think that's just fine. And then what we do is we smack in first for big damage. Do we want to untap? Nah, I think we just want uh, a card, actually. That card. Exactly that card. Okay. I think we're doing fine. I think we're doing great. Okay. Closed on Recluse. Okay. When mutates, you put the plus card on it. Interesting. Uh, we'll tap you. Definitely. Get the Lotus down. Now then. Now that the fair. Do everything, please. Uh, you tap down and. Oh, yeah, we can do a land also. That's pretty. Amazing. Uh, then we essentially just need to go. Let's see. We tap you, cycle, untap the lotus, get a random thing. Oh, and weapons with not the best, not the worst. Uh, go outside the game, pick up the. Let's see here. Pick up the omniscience. Then we can actually play another. Teferi, just to get more manas, weirdly enough. And Badoosh, 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 oh actually this is a lot of more manas, okay. We tap this, tap this, tap this. And then we play another Teferi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is pretty good! This is pretty good! Okay, 
Uh, now we have omniscience. Now I think we got him. Uh, we'll play this for zero. It's a fine card for zero. I think we'll play another one of these for zero. Just to draw a couple of more cards here. I think I'm fine casting this for zero also. I think I'm fine doing that. And now we got him. Okay. Well, that was a pretty good first game, gotta say. This seems like a really good combo deck, also. Uh, let's see here. We pick up the monster. Pick up the monster. Go for another monster. And. Okay, outside the game. And um, outside the game. Harness Infinity. A little bit sad when we have so many good cards in hand, but. Uh, we are also gonna win with this, so. That's kind of an upside. Outside? Thousand Year Storm. And this is pretty decently fast, honestly. When your opponent doesn't have anything to hold priority, this combo is actually not the worst. Decently, decently fast. Okay. There it is. Couple. Mm hmm. That was decently fast, honestly. Decently fast combo. Okay, one more. Okay, it, sure. Okay. How many? <laughs> okay, 12 of them, okay. We got him! Yeah, this deck can be pretty good! Pretty good when you go off. And we can go off really, really quickly with this. Man, my hair. <laughs> Doesn't look perfect, no matter what I do. I want to hide the fact that the hair is going away. But... <laughs> Somehow it just... Everything just makes it more apparent. Oh my god, Renaldo Weapons with the Time is Lotus. That is... If he could get that off, I mean, I, I think he's gonna schnoodle it, but... What if he doesn't? What if he doesn't kill the Renaldo Weapons with? I'm not even gonna hover over it, because then he's gonna schnoodle it 100%. Do you mean, I mean, surely he has the removal spell. I would be surprised if he doesn't. Very, very surprised if he doesn't have it. No? Okay, sure, it's a fortune, okay. Okay, so you're telling me we're gonna get a Lotus here. Turn 3 Lotus, that is a very, very nice, very nice, okay, put down you. It's a little bit in trouble now. A little bit in trouble, unless he can deal with Lotus, which he maybe can deal, actually. I mean, he has blue, we can maybe bounce it. Possibly maybe bounce it, okay. Gain the one life point. Hmm, and the other thing I actually thought about with this deck... We could put in green also, there's actually an argument for green, because there's that new Seek card, which can either Seek the Teferi or the Lotus. Uh, to find the combo pieces very, very quickly. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna be doing this. And we're also gonna be tapping this for, I don't know, blue maybe? And... This thing right here is pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good! Uh, we'll cycle you. I'm tapping the Lotus. Uh, I think we just need to dig a little bit, so we'll do a Seagate Restoration. Okay. That's actually not the worst. We can do this. Play another Teferi. Yeah, this deck is pretty good. <laughs> this deck is... Wow! The fastness of this deck is... Is, is what's so insane. Uh, we can actually just do this, can't? No, we can't, Chris. Uh, we can if we do this, you can play another. In that case, okay. But then we don't have more blue, though, that's unfortunate. Do have kind of a lot of cards on the other hand. Kind of a lot of them. Okay, that thing is down there, and... Uh, yeah, I think we get him next turn. Would be my guess, but it could be wrong. That was a pretty good start. <laughs> that was a pretty good start! Yep! Yep, he didn't have the removal for the weaponsmith and the things just snowballed from there, I feel like. Yeah, that weaponsmith, he probably needed to deal with him a little bit earlier. Maybe. Maybe. It's kinda good in this deck. When we have the Lotus. This Lotus is pretty good, by the way, if you didn't know. He's pretty good! Pretty good Lotus! Pretty good! And kind of insane with the fairy. Kind of insane in the membrane. I don't know. Artemis? I mean, that this has to be top deck material. Is it, is it that good? I feel for like two games, I feel like it's already like, it's just really freaking good. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, this is just a 2 now. Okay. Smacks in. Mm, well, tap you. Untap the runers. The timeless lotus. Ah, uh, that's another faithless looting. That's not the worst. I think we're gonna go for our mandings. I mean. Oh, there it is. There is the combo. The combo, the combo. We'll ship these two. Go outside the game. Uh, but we actually don't have enough mana to... Oh, no, no, we do have enough mana to win, right? Because we can do this. Uh, we can do... No, 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 cancel. <laughs> Tap. Now we do this. Bam, bam, badam. Right, that's enough for missions. Yep, yep. That's pretty good. Um, we play you, because we actually need to find other Fey Wishes. There's the other Fey Wishes, okay? That was fast. Didn't think that would be that fast, okay. Non creature outside the game. Uh, we're gonna pick up the Masterminds. The Masterminds, the Masterminds, and then another Masterminds. Yeah, this deck just feels really good. We might have been very lucky with the starts here. Uh, that might have been a reason for us crushing it, possibly. Uh, okay. But I think it's really good. Okay, uh, outside the game. Thousand Year Storm. Outside the game. Revival Revenge. Thousand Year Storm. Play a Thousand Year Storm. And double Bashnubbles. And target you. And be gone! That also felt really fast and really controlled, I think. Really, 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 really good. I feel like almost every hand is amazing with this deck. That's usually the sign of a good deck. When every hand feels... Mm. Okay, Overwhelmed Apprentice. Mills two cards. We can mill a Lotus, that's fine. And then he's gonna scry too. As I've stated before, I don't think scrying is... I don't think the world is ready for scrying, actually. Uh, we'll do the decliner. And next time we'll play the Lotus Field, untap the Lotus Field. Uh, mm, or are we though? Because we could just be playing the Vizier. That's actually probably better than untapping her. Because we can't do anything else this turn if we do. So we'll do it like this. Play the Vizier. Let's play it. Play it as a dude. Down there on the ground. Vizier, tumbling sands. It's there. Okay. I'm gonna mill. Uh, I mean, if he mills all our timeless lotuses, that could actually be kind of dangerous for us. I don't know exactly what we do then. Um, we can't win with lotus field, I guess. So that maybe doesn't matter too much, actually. Uh, okay, so we'll take out this and this. Play this, sacrifice these two, do a little bit of untappily runers, uh, play you, nice, oh, we, oh yes, yes I saw it coming, oh buddy, okay, that's very, very, very good that you saw it coming, and Chris did not see that one coming at all, okay, faithful manders, uh, shipping a faithful manders and a faithful Manders, because we can play this for the graveyard anyways. Okay, that was very good for him. That saw it coming. I don't know why I didn't see that going coming, honestly, but I didn't. Okay. Big damage, okay. So the Vino Fates, that's not the worst. I guess we'll do this. Untapply Runers. Um, I think we play this. Uh, it's a little bit boring, but I think we just ship... Oh, now we ship the Manders, definitely. Or do we? Because we can... Five manas, now we can't even double play. Oh, if we find another land, which is not a Lotus Field, we can double play. So I think we... Yes! <laughs> Manders? And another Manders! Right? Um... Ship these... And... No, I should have played during his... Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Screw it. I was thinking we should have done this during his turn, probably, but... Whatever. We dig through a lot of the deck there without finding the Lotuses, gotta say. Uh, almost half the deck. 
Almost. Five manas though. That saw it coming. If that wasn't there. If that saw it coming wasn't there, that would have been Maggard. Okay, well that's uh pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh we'll do this. White, okay. Okay, now I think we got this. Uh we're gonna plus. Um, let's see, an artifact, uh, we're gonna submit zero on this, this and this, and let's see here, granted, uh, omniscience, do we, I don't know, we don't even have nearly enough mana, but we can tap this for blue, and then we can untap this, and there's not that much we need to do, we can actually just play this, let's have blocker, and then we have omniscience for next turn. And that's pretty good. When he saw omniscience though, he's probably gonna keep up another counter spell. If he has another counter spell, that might have been his only counter spell. Possibly. But he has murmuring mystics. I'm thinking he has more, but that can't be. Okay, midnight clock. Might have another counter, but we're gonna run in. Okay, no, persistent. Per okay. Unexpected. That, that would be in the deck, but okay. I mean, it's a modern blue deck, so. Any blue card, maybe? I don't know. Um, yeah, my turn. Resolve, okay. This looks like a lot of mass, so we'll do this. And cast some <laughs> blue. And uh, let's see here. Now we can actually tap this so it doesn't have any mass. Mm hmm. In case, I don't know, if it has some kind of spell pierce or something. And now we got him! Yeah, I feel like, I feel like this deck is... It's pretty good. I don't know if this deck archetype exists already. It probably does. I haven't checked any... I don't know. Websites. <laughs> if this is an established archetype, but if it isn't... I feel like it should be. It's pretty good. Okay. I think maybe we accidentally created a competitive deck. Or the other deck system. We got it. We haven't gotten the Balsug combo though, a single time. <laughs> that makes me sad. We, we've won with other combo, but we haven't won it with the Balsug. I mean, it, it only ramps us a little bit. But still. <laughs> it's still pretty good. <laughs> okay, anyways. Keep, 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 keep. Main. Main, 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 main. Man, I feel like we need to do another Lotus deck. Again, after this slow <sighs> This is so much fun, I want to play something like this again. This is there another way of doing- Oh, Imagine us drawing into the Lotus now. Like, it's so fast, the Lotus. It's so fast. Okay, well, play this. Weaponsmith. Mr. and Mrs. Weaponsmith. An upcoming movie. No, oh, it's not. It's a lie. Okay. Um, I think actually we play this and we ship a land because if we hit the lotus thing, that's gonna be good. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, no attacks. That's pretty lucky that we hit the lotus. A little bit lucky. Let's say a little bit lucky, but okay. I'm fine with this. Okay, levels up. Okay, draws a couple of cards. Do we now, though, play the Vizier? I think we only need one, so we'll do this. Take out all the manas. Play this. Badoosh, badoosh. Then just do one little cycle of Badiklings. I mean, if we could hit the good Lotus here, that would be a pretty good one. But... Okay, another weapon smith. Not exactly what I wanted. But I will accept this. Um, let's see, we play this, we have... Yeah, now we just play it. Play it. Have it down there on the ground, and uh, yeah, we're not gonna search for... Uh, Heart Piercer Bow or Vial of Dragonfire. An artifact or creature entering the battlefield, which you, okay, would trigger. It triggers an additional time. I do like this card quite a lot. We'll say. I think we do this though. A little bit of uh, Bashnoon action. Can we go off here? I think we might be able to. If we 
hit another Bezier with the Bezier. Right? Or if we hit a... That's a Teferi. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, tap you, tap you. Like this. A little bit of untaps. Uh, yeah, that thing. That needs to be tapped on. Uh, actually, we didn't gain any manas from that, because I'm, I'm a dingus. That didn't gain us anything. Except the fact that we can now go granted, because you have two of these anyways, right? And we can pick up the Gilded Lotus. And then we can play the Gilded Lotus with all this manas, right? It didn't use the weapons. <laughs> I forgot about the fact that it never uses the weapons bit there, but that's fine. That's not a problem. Sad, but it's not a problem. Okay. Well, I think we got him next turn anyways. Unless he wins with Harmonica, which he probably could do, actually. He has a really good series of cards here. Or called the Alpha. Okay, that's... that's a Panharmonica trigger if I ever saw one. Does he have... ooh, maybe. Ooh, Oracle of the Alpha, Spark Double. Okay, I, I'm, I'm liking this, though. I'm not just liking it, I'm loving it. <laughs> and that infinite time works? Is that what he, what he wins with? Anyways, uh, now we have Manas. And untap you. And untap. Bop, bop, bop. Ah, it's very pretty good. Okay, outside the game. Uh, there's no missions. I think we'll take that omniscience. I'm fine with this. Down the omniscience. Outside the game. Find the mastermind. Mm-hmm. Not decently fast. Anyways, I mean like. How many turns was that? That five is five and six hours not that fast. Anyway. Maybe not that fast, but I, th I think we did pretty good anyway. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of our accomplishments today. I think we did good. Okay. And then outside, yep, down the storm, and outside, and we're revenge, and bop, 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 there it is, there's the combo, there's the combo, bop, 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 revenge, 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 ah, oh, okay, no, no, oh. Da, da, da. The AM cycle. Okay. Ooh, if we could get the Lotus. Oh, which combo are we gonna gamble on getting here? If we get the Lotus, then Resurge plus Vizier is insane. If. But then Renown is also pretty good. Uh, I think we play Resurge, right? Play Resurge. Take action. Following. Down with this guy. And. Yeah, now if we get the Lotus land, then this is better. If we get the Lotus other Lotus thing, then the other thing is better. Okay, Angel of Unity. Okay, something perpetual gets plus one, plus one. Okay, Divine of Fates, that's actually not the worst. I think we're gonna take that action. Do this, ship the Vizier of Tumbling. Ooh, we can actually do the thing here next turn. Uh... But we can do that anyways, can't we? If we tap the manas, we return... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Put this in the, in the graveyard. Find Resug, and we can't use Resug, so we just pass the turn. And we're looking pretty good already. Man! Man, is this that good, okay? Uh, Uruchi Merge Keeper. That was not the thing he gave plus one, plus one. Can go in for one damage in there, if he wants to. I've actually been thinking about doing something with all these effects, all these like perpetually gets plus one plus one things. If we put all of them in the deck, that'd be good. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, we'll choose you. Take out these, Lotus Field, sack these, uh, return you, untap you. And then we actually don't have that much else that we can do here. Um, so I think we... We cycle this. 
Because then we're going to find another land, and then we can play that land, right? Because the binary fades. Okay. Ooh, okay. And there's the Teferi. My no, no, we can't play that, because we played Lotus Field. My god, okay, I forgot about that. Uh, as long as it modifies... Sure, let's smack it. We'll smack it. That was a pretty good start also, though. To be perfectly honest, okay. Three manas. Teferi who slows down the sunset. I don't know why we haven't played, or have we played this card before? I feel like we haven't. Okay, Trelasa. Oh, that was the thing he buffed before, okay. That has the plus counter. Uh, yeah, this doesn't work with modified. Because it perpetually gets plus one, plus one. It would be cool if it perpetually enters the battlefield with a plus counter on it, because then... Oh, okay, the Baron Dungeons. That thing goes. Guys? Okay, <laughs> okay, he's nice. Ah, uh, goes in for one damage. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. And Squally Scry. Mm hmm. Well, now then. Now we should be ready, right? Uh, we'll do this. Untap Lerunas on this thing. Play this guy. Tap this for a blue. And uh, let's see here. We kind of want to play. Uh, I kind of want to use this also first. So we'll cycle this to get this in the graveyard. Untap the Lotus Field. Then we're gonna play this from the graveyard. Like this. So we have two of them. Untap the Lotus Field, because now we can also untap the Resume, right? Untap you and you and... Oh, 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 forgot to tap this, okay. Untap this and this and this. That's a little bit more manas. Then now we can go outside the game. And we pick up, let's see, we don't need the Gilded Lotus, I think, to win there. I think we just need the Omniscience. But we don't have enough manas. Hmm. We can tap this for blue, then untap this. And we actually do have a land there. So we could now take the binary of fates. And let's see here. If we play this on. Use this for black, right? And we play this so that we have white. Then we can also play this. Mm hmm. And then we could ship the Rezug. Right? That gives us... Okay, so now we have double weapons with us, so that's not the worst, maybe. Can use one for blocking, even. Mm -hmm. I think we got him! That was a pretty good turn, okay? Oh, this is turn four, by the way. Main is fast, okay? Corsa Lebron. How did this get plus one, plus one? Mm -hmm. Or or you cast a party spell, I forgot about it. He's parting all over, okay? Yeah, that thing and that thing. Well, one weaponsmith can definitely jump in front there. That's fine. Take one damage. He's gonna scry one card, but then gotta be snoo. Gotta be snoo, be snoo, be snoo. Be snoo, be snoo, be snoo. Uh, yeah, Rizug actually worked out also. Everything worked out with this deck, I feel like. Everything just worked out, it's so nice! Okay, untap, untap. Omniscience. And there we go. Non Grinch card outside the game. Lost their minds. And outside the game. And Master Minds. Outside the game. And Harness Infinity. Harness Infinity. Badoosh. A Badoosh. Ooh, I was close to clicking the Lotus. I thought we had only two cards left, okay. I don't want to mess up the combo, that would, that would be horrible. Okay, put down this. Revival Revenge, and there... It is! Ah! Yep, that, yep, that, that felt good. That felt pretty, 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 pretty. There it is. Hello, Daniel! And you are? It's me, the YouTube algorithm. And... 
Well, what are you doing here? I'm just here to take those the views. No, the those are my views. Oh, I can explain to you, senor. You see, you have subs zero uh, percent and non-subs a uh, hundred percent. That's why you can take all your views. <laughs> I guess it's time that you uh, check out a little little thing down there.